Thank you for your availability and congratulations for your debut, Ski Aspil. Firstly, can you present the band to the Portuguese white metalheads? Yes, we are Angstri from uh, Copenhagen, Denmark. We play everything black. We play black and roll, black metal, uh, black and death. Uh, but the core is black, black as me. So, uh, and uh, we started the band in 2019, where we started the songwriting, went to the studio, and now here, two years later, we are, we are ready to release our debut album. As you said, your journey started decades ago. What happened in the meantime? Why did you stop your activity? Uh, you know, life happened. Um, we we were brought up together. We uh, studied under the same mentor. We we learned how to be creative together. But then life happens and take you, it takes you down different paths. But um, it was the separation was only in the creative uh, area of our lives. Uh, we have remained in contact, close contact. Uh, during the whole um, uh, the whole time, but uh, the creativity, yeah, along with professional lives, academic lives, we we took uh, different paths, um, but it was always in the back of our minds that we would come together once more and be creative together. So yes, in two thousand nineteen, it was time, and. Uh, we joined forces and started creating again. So can we say that the path that led to your spirit also led to your reunification? Sorry? We can say that the path that led to your spirit also led to your reunification. You could say that, yes. You could say that. Uh, yeah. yeah, we needed to have uh, separate experiences in order to uh, yeah, you could say continue our creative process together. Uh, right now, you are uh, considered the next big hope of the Nordic extreme metal scene. What, differenti what differentiates you from the other generations of the style? What do you add to the genre and what do you keep? Um, I think we keep most of it. We are... Angskri is... In our own eyes, we are the consequence of decades of metal history. Uh, we we don't say we don't we don't pretend to uh, to be something <clears throat> creating. We don't pretend to create something completely new. Our uniqueness is uh, is the way we put the different. Uh, bits and pieces together that we have collected from other artists. Um, uh, and th the way we put it together is unique. Uh, but we we haven't invented something completely new. Okay, uh, both of your band name and your album name are in your native tongue, right? Yes. What do they mean and why did you decide to use it? Uh, angstri uh, means uh, a scream of angst. Uh, it's a word that has been in our minds like forever since we were very small because it's a word you get taught in school uh, because it's the word in Danish which has most consonants in a row. <laughs> and, and and when we when we wanted to find the name, we actually didn't have to search long because we, the way we sound, the way we look, this name fits perfectly. Um, and Skukespil, the, the 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 album title is Shadow Play. Uh, we chose that title because we are because it's. Uh, you could say that Skugespil is kind of the diagnosis of modernity. 
uh, it's like uh, the way the way we think as modern people, we we think it's it's in some way superficial. We don't get down to the real reality of things. Um, we we tend to be in like a in a metaphysical state uh, up in the cloud somewhere and not down on earth. Uh, so that's why we chose the uh, the title Skuggespil. It's a very strong image in our minds. And the reason why we are using our native tongue is it's it's the best way for us to express ourselves. Um, we we you know we know the nuances of this language uh, that we don't we don't know English as well uh, as 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 good as we know Danish. So it's to it's to to communicate better that we chose Danish. I bet that she also helps you to create uh, uh, landscapes in your. It's better in your native tongue than in English. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Um, how did you manage to include such renowned musicians in your debut? <laughs> they are friends of ours, uh, and we uh, we don't know how to play a solo for shit. You know, we're we're terrible at solos. So uh, luckily, we got good friends that we could call up, ask them to participate and be a part of the project, and uh, they were willing. And we're so grateful for their amazing contributions. They, you know, they took these songs and this album to a whole other level. And we couldn't imagine. We knew we knew they were good, but we didn't know that they were this good. Uh, so we we're very. Um, we are very, very grateful. It's and it's you know, it was just a phone call away. Uh, again, they're friends and very good friends. Okay, Skies uh, and Lucifer Condor were the first two videos for this album. Why did you choose them? Because we thought uh, it, because it, they were the songs we wanted the world to hear first. Uh, they don't like. They're not representative of the whole album. They they have their own they have their own life, but they they are part. You know, they are are separate parts of a whole. Uh, it was just because we thought those two songs were the coolest at the moment, uh, and we still do. So yeah, I think it was it was just because yeah. Here you go, world. We felt those were the right choices. Okay, uh, are you in some other projects right now? Um, us? No, but in, in, in other forms, yes. <laughs> okay, um, why do you present yourself in black? Sorry? Why do you present yourself in black? Uh, we feel that this is this is the way our music looks. Uh, we wanted to embody the music and yeah, this is how it came out. Maybe we, we write a disco album next and then we look in, a, in another way, but this is how our music looks right now. Okay, which are the main names you would like to fulfill once this pandemic is over? Uh, which, sorry, which what? Which are the main names you would like to from film once the pandemic is over? Oh, the big names we wanted to, we want to tour with? Is that the question? No, the aims, uh, your goals to do. Sorry, sorry, I thought you said names. The aims, okay. oh, we want to get on the road. Uh, we want to bring our music to the people. Uh, we want to meet the people, we want to smell the people and we want them to smell us. Uh, so the, f the, first, the first aim, the first goal is to get on the road and that can be tough enough as it looks right now. Uh, 
but uh, we already have new songs written. Uh, so we just we aim to to have even more fun and to produce even more uh, to produce even better music uh, to be to produce even better albums uh, to be to to play bigger and bigger bigger shows. Um, the aim is is to have as much fun as possible. Okay, uh, thank you. Do you want to send any message to your fans? Yes, I'm looking forward, very much forward to seeing you all. It's been way too long. <laughs> okay, that's it. Thank you once more. It was an honor. Yeah. Thank you for having us. <laughs>